here at Great Day in the Morning. Just show us some beautiful people in here tonight. And then there's the rest of you. But, but, but wait a minute now, because beauty is only skin deep. And ugly is to the bone, baby. My name is Kabibi, but I am a mom's maidenly impersonator. So from now on, we're going to forget about Kabibi, we're going to be thinking about mom. The atom bomb. Nice and round, faster than sound. I don't know how many of y'all raise your hand if you ever heard of a mom's maidenly before. Oh, that sounds good, because you know moms don't like nothing old but money. <laughs> old man can't do nothing for me. He can't do nothing for himself. So, um, how many people here from out of town? Would you raise your hands and let me know? Nobody? We all here from Seattle, huh? Airplane. It's gonna be up so bad. You know, the airplane didn't get no higher than this building, and my ears stopped up. <laughs> Stewardess walked by and said, Baby, come here, sweetheart. Something's wrong because my ears is all stopped up. She said, Well, Mom's here. Chew this gum. Chew this gum. I opened that gum up and I put that gum in my mouth. <laughs> Doing that gone. But it wasn't doing no good. She came back by and said, baby, this gum ain't doing no good. Mom's about to die. You're gonna have to do something. She said, Well, moms, drop your jaws. Drop your jaws. <laughs> well, I misunderstood her. Them young boys with Polly and Boo? I had Francais. <laughs> I wee wee everywhere I went. Boo le boo, I said wee. <laughs> so let me see now. I'm, let me see, I've been, I was born in 1896. And I came up with a song that I'm going to sing y'all. But before I do, I got to tell y'all a story about a girlfriend of mine. She liked old men. I'd rather pay a young man's way from here to Italy than tell an old man the distance. <laughs> Jogging and he was looking good, looking like a Greek Adonis or something. Oh, he looked good. He was all viral and carrying on. I said, What your name is? He said, Ooh, what your name is? I said, Well, come on over to my house and we can talk about it. Yeah. He came over and knocked on the door. Now, you know that's the code right there. I couldn't wait to open up the door. I opened the door up and there he was standing up there looking all good, had all his teepest. I said, come on in. And he went to kissing me on my neck, sucking on my ear. I said, well, well baby, we may as well go on and take this on into my boudoir. We went into the bedroom. Wasn't in there no time. I ran out of that room, called the police. Not one one. I said, police, come and get him. Come and get him right now. This old mom, we on our way. They came up, screaming, broke the door and bam. They said, Mom, what's wrong? What's wrong? I said, I want him arrested and I want him arrested right now. They said, well, Mom, what did he do? What did he do? I said, he assaulted me with a dead weapon. Girlfriend of mine, 19 years old, came to Mom's for 
some advice. I said, well, you know, I'm trying to help the young ladies find out who and what they are. And she said, Moms, I've got this 93-year-old man that I think I'm going to marry. I said, well, baby, don't you know that an old man give young girl words? She said, Moms, he's worth 12 $3 billion. I'm just going to have to be wormy. I couldn't blame him. I couldn't blame him. I went to the wedding. It was really nice. After the wedding, they went on to their to the suite. And she said, Daddy, I'm going to go into the restroom and uh, get ready for you. He said, okay, baby. <laughs> she tried herself on into the restroom. La, 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 la. Anyway, he made his way over to the bureau where he had some Wilma Rudolph's voodoo voodoo cream. <laughs> you know, I had a premonition. And I think they're going to start calling that Viagra. <laughs> anyway, he went put some, you know, put some lotion on his cell, you know what I'm saying? And he, the man was got hard as times in 29. <laughs> he went over to the bed and laid down and he was standing at attention. And she came out the bathroom and looked upon his wondrousness and his <laughs> And she ran and jumped up on it. One stroke. And the man died dead. <laughs> You know, that woo 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 cream is, you know, he just kept growing and growing and going and going. And girl, let me tell you, they had, they couldn't even shut the company. They had to bear that man standing up. <laughs> I'm telling you, that was a dime, but yes. Anyway, before I leave here, I want to sing a song about, uh, Three of my favorite right people, even though it is four of them, because Obama is one of my favorite people too. All right. So let me sing this song to you right quick, a cappella. It goes like this. Anybody here seen my old friend Abraham? Can we? And he was gone. Anybody here seen my old friend John? Can you tell me where he's gone? Well, he did a lot of good, but the good they die young guy. And he was gone. Anybody hear you, you, you? Sing my old Green Martin. All right. Go ahead. You tell me where he's gone. Where he's gone. Dying today ain't never died before. <laughs> oh, 
I looked around and he was gone.